What is 75 Hard? This is a transformative mental toughness program. You'll be putting your discipline to the test over a 75 day span. A challenge Andy Frazella put out and says only a few people will complete. There are five rules you must follow every day with no compromise. Rule number one, follow a diet. No cheat meals, cheat days, or alcohol. Rule number two, two workouts a day, one must be outside and they both have to be 45 minutes each. Rule number three, drink a gallon of water a day. Rule number four, read 10 pages in an entrepreneurial book. Lastly, rule number five, take a progress picture each day. The hardest part is, if you mess up, you have to restart and go back to day one. This is testing your discipline and mental toughness. Are you up for the challenge? Let me know down in the comments if you're doing 75 hard right now. While you're down there, make sure to subscribe and show some love to that thumbs up button. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. This is my meal plan, and I'm following the vertical diet, or I should say a little bit tweaked version of the vertical diet. I'm not eating as much red meat. I incorporate some chicken, and we just did a grocery haul, so I'm gonna show you what I got for groceries. All right, so for breakfast, we do about 40 to 80 grams of oatmeal. I throw a scoop of level one protein in there. We also do four whole eggs, four egg whites, and I dice up some onions and some peppers and some spinach, and I throw that in my eggs and I put salsa on that. And then we have some chicken. I do the chicken tenderloins, and I marinate it in one of these Three, they taste amazing. I do 90-10 beef. I also throw some diced up onions, some spinach, and some peppers in there as well. And then the condiment topper I use is this sweet and spicy mustard, super delicious. And then for dinner, I also make like a type of Greek salad with more onions and peppers. For the rice, I do jasmine rice. And what I do is I cook it in Bone broth adds a bunch of micronutrients. That's just a quick grocery haul. I'm also gonna take you mail by mail for the rest of the day as well. So we're gonna go get our first workout in and we're gonna do it outside. So we're doing 10 minutes on the assault bike. We just did that for our warm up, And then we're gonna do 21, 15, nine for reps. What's up team? I wanted to let you know I have my own fitness app with all my workout programs on there body weight only, dumbbell only, push pull leg routines, and more. Y'all can train and message with me on my fitness app for $1 for your first month, and I'm launching a four week challenge starting April 1st, and I want you to join. So coaching and workouts will be provided in a like-minded fitness community like 75 Hard, and there will be a prize for the top three transformations at the end of the four weeks. Text me, fitness challenge, for more info and to join. Burn 750 calories. Can't wait for the summertime, it's so beautiful right now. Does anybody else's eyes burn this bad when they chop onions? So what I do is I cut up two onions for the week, throw it in my eggs when I cook them, throw them in my Greek salad when I eat it, and then I throw the leftovers in my beef for the week. All right, so we got meal number one. We got 60 grams of oatmeal. I do a quarter cup of blueberries, a scoop of level one protein in there. Four whole eggs, four egg whites. We got spinach, peppers, onions in there. If you guys wanna see a day in the life on 75 hard while I'm doing work and you know getting up early in the morning, going to work, let me know because I'll show you like how I fit the tasks around my schedule as well. But yeah, meal number one, those are the calories and uh, we got a couple more meals. Supposedly you can't walk uh, during your workouts and read your pages. And I did this like week one, and I was scrolling through the 75 hard page, and I saw someone ask a question. There wasn't really a good answer on if you could or you couldn't do it, so I re-asked the question, and it seems the majority of the votes are that it doesn't count. But since I don't really remember what day it was, we're gonna, we restarted two days ago, so we're on day two of 75 hard, or day 22 of 75 hard. So we're gonna go by what they say in the fitness app, and we're gonna restart, and it's only a bonus, because guess what? Now we got 75 more days to go on top of the 20 days we already did. So we get some bonus days. Let's get it. Little family walk. Say hi, Rue. Hi, girl. Say hi, Rue. All right, guys, walk is complete. I'm gonna show you guys mail number two. This is gonna be my pre-workout mail. After we eat this, we're gonna go read our book. 
So we do about 200 grams of white rice, add in about six ounces of chicken. Also really enjoy these Zevias. They're great like soda alternatives. I love them because the flavor is good and the carbonation makes me feel fuller. All right, so we're on book number two. The first book I read is The Millionaire Fastland. So now the title is kind of deceiving. You think it's kind of like a get rich quick type of book but it's not, there's a lot of great information in that book about how to escape from the slow lane and get yourself into the fast lane to become a millionaire, you know, kind of to set yourself apart from everybody else. So really good book, especially if you guys are thinking about starting your own business at some point, definitely check out that book. But what we're on right now is the magic of thinking big. This one is also a really good read. We're cruising through the books because we're 22 days in, we're already on two books. So we're doing well. But the magic of thinking big is really good because it's it's teaching you how to switch your mindset and how you perceive things and how you think in certain situations and you know teach you to think big so super cool now are you a take one vitamin at a time person or are you like hey let's throw it back and get it done because i'm gonna just throw it back let's get it done let me know in the comments we have ourselves a pretty nice home gym thanks to Echelon. Today we're going to be doing a chest workout and to start we're going to do 75 calories on the skier just to get warmed up and then we'll get into the chest workout. Whew, 646, 75 calories, not too bad. Takes me like 15 minutes on the assault bike for 100 calories so that really kicks your ass. Alright guys, hour, seven minutes, 400 calories, felt good. I always start my workouts off usually in the day and I'll do a HIIT workout and then workout number two, I'm always toasted. Uh, my chest is feeling juicy, so that's, that's a good sign. And uh, workout number two is typically like a basic bro type of workout. We did chest, finished off with 100 push-ups on that Beckford bar. And uh, now let's go inside, let's have meal number three. Before we eat dinner, I wanna show you guys my new investment. <laughs> Say hi, girl. Pick myself up a new little uh, man purse for when I go grocery shop with the puppy. <laughs> Last meal of the night, we have five ounces of ground beef, 90-10. It has the Peppers, onions, spinache, and then we get 100 grams of white rice cooked in the bone broth. And then of course the spicy mustard. And then of course we got our Greek salad. So I do a half cup of romaine lettuce, half cup of spinach. Got peppers, onions, feta cheese in there. I also do sriracha with the Greek dressing. And it just adds a little spice, I love spice. So yeah, that's just about what 75 hard is. I didn't show you guys the photos for the day because that's something I wanna say for a later video where I do a full in-depth video of my experience on 75 hard to show you my transformation. So be on the lookout for that video. If you wanna see more videos of the day in the life of 75 hard, let me know. Now this was my day off, so this was a much easier day. So if you wanna see a day in the life where I'm taking you guys through where I have my full work day and doing 75 hard, I can do that for you as well. I can tell you that I started at 199.8 pounds and I weighed in at about 194.2 pounds today. So we lost about five, 5.6 pounds in the matter of 22 days. So that's also kind of how I gauge if I need to, you know, reduce my calories or increase my calories. You know, I feel like I've been losing a healthy amount of weight, especially like the first week we lost a good amount because there's a lot of water weight flushing out. I did an in-body scan as well, day one, and uh, I'll do one on the last day as well to compare, you know, how much fat I lost and then also how much muscle I gained. That's a big misconception a lot of people have. They get so discouraged when they look at the scale and they see that they only lost two pounds, but in reality, they lost four pounds of fat, but they gained two pounds of muscle. So that comes out to two pounds lost. And that's why you can't get so focused on a number on the scale. You gotta get you know in tune with your body and how you feel. I'll leave you guys with you know something I really noticed and something I really loved about doing this challenge. And one, it's 
it's the checklist, you know, you're doing these five tasks a day. And you know, at work, I have a to-do list, but it's like tasks I need to get done for work. They're not goals that are progressing me mentally or physically. And every day that I check off, you know, doing the five tasks or 75 hard, it's a confidence booster. And I felt myself get more confident each day. So I hope you guys decide to take on 75 hard and uh, you guys won't regret it. Let me know what day you're on if you are doing 75 hard. Love to chat with y'all. And with that, I will see you all on the next video.